Well, Julius Malema is busy rewriting history once again. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to News in 5. I'm your host, Joe Emilio. Thanks for tuning in. And in case you didn't hear it, well, I'm not even going to try and explain it. I'm going to let Julius Malema speak for himself. Check this out. Rugby is not a white man's sport. They found it here. Our people in the Eastern Cape and everywhere else played rugby long before these people played rugby. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where he got this from. I, I really don't. I mean, there's a few theories. Uh, one of which is maybe he got, maybe, maybe he was watching this commercial. Hey. <laughs> And who knows, maybe after watching that commercial, he thought it was like a mini documentary and thought this is just how rugby came to be in South Africa. I don't know. But here's what a few South Africans have to say about what Julius said. There's historical evidence of this. It's arguably one of the most famous people in the world, William Webb Ellis, that in 1823 played a football match in a town called Rugby, picked up a football and started running with it. That's why it's called the William Webb Ellis Trophy. It was the first documented case of somebody picking up a ball, running with it and trying to score a try. It was in a football match in 1823 in England, in a town called Rugby. People are laughing at you, but deservedly so because you are an idiot. Did you know it was in the caves long before Central Africans came to the coast? Then it's gotta be true, man. This is like, cave paintings are like the back in the day Instagram feed. Like this, <laughs> this is how people documented shit. And uh, yeah, I mean, must have been, maybe Julius was right. The European mind cannot understand this. Yeah, no, the Europeans saw that and they were just like, I don't know what these guys are doing, but we want to learn what this game is because it looks so good. I hear the 1651 Rugby World Cup final between the Koi and the Sun was epic. <laughs> One of my personal favorites. And the memes don't end there. Look at this video that was made. Rugby is not a white man's sport. Yeah. They found it here. Yeah. Our people in the Eastern Cape and everywhere else played rugby long before these people played rugby. Bruh. You see, on the one hand, I feel like we shouldn't take Julius seriously when he says stupid cock like this. Rugby is not a white man's sport. But on the other hand, when he's on the huge stage saying this. Lions, shoot to kill the mother, kill the poor, the farmer, kill the poor. I feel like we should be concerned. So yes, Julius flip-flops and he has been known to say stupid crap from time to time. But one thing's for sure, if this guy ever comes into power and it doesn't even matter which party he is in charge of, I don't think it's going to be a good thing for South Africa. Anyways, let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section below, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed this content, you might enjoy these videos. Don't forget to leave a like on this video, share it far and wide, and subscribe to the channel. I've got more content coming your way. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next one. Cheers.